a must-see view tomorrow. More Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source. Technology should be simple. Simple to connect with, easy to talk to. Hey, BMW, where can I park? And a joy to drive. Don't be driven by technology, drive it. The all-new BMW 3 Series. Hurry in to lease a 2019 BMW 330i sedan for $3.99 per month. We're at Ohana Hale Marketplace. We're actually Hawaii's largest indoor shopping experience here in Kaka'ako on Ward Avenue. We feature over 200 different vendors, locally owned and operated here, offering a unique experience for our shoppers. We have local products, food, services. Very unique, something you won't find at your traditional mall. We have live music, special events going on. So come check us out here at Ohana Hale Marketplace. Yeah! There we go. This Memorial Day, start your summer off right in a new Chevrolet. Oh, wow. It's time to upgrade. You guys outdid yourself there. <laughs> I'm going to go and get a Chevy. <laughs> An exciting summer begins at your Chevy dealer. And now, during the Chevy Memorial Day sales event, get 0% financing for 72 months on these select Chevy models. Or current GM owners can get 3250 total cash allowance on this Colorado. See your Hawaii Chevy dealer. Ellen at 4 p.m., followed by KITV4 Island News. Now, from KITV4 Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Good morning, Hawaii. Right now, family and friends of Amanda Eller are not giving up despite no traces of the missing woman. Go and how you can help coming up. Plus, saying aloha to a legend and keeping Hawaiian traditions alive. Family and friends bid a final farewell to musician Jacqueline Skylark Rossetti. And we're learning more about the heroic efforts at an Oregon high school to stop a gunman before any shots could be fired. But first, we begin this morning with some breaking news just coming in. There is no tsunami threat to Hawaii after a 6.7 magnitude earthquake hits near the Loyalty Islands. Now, according to the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center, now that, that's uh, that further south before Hawaii, closer to Australia where that happened. The earthquake happened right before 5 this morning. And a good morning to you, and thanks for joining us this morning, Sunday. I'm Lei Uikaholokula. And I'm Tom George. Now, the search is still on for a missing Maui woman. It's been more than a week since Amanda Eller disappeared. Over 100 people came out to look for her on Saturday. According to the Find Amanda Facebook page, volunteers spent nearly 300 man hours combing through the forest, but they came up with nothing. But they did cross off some areas where they say Amanda may have gone, like pools and waterfalls. Groups of volunteers include free divers, checking pools, a search dog, and some even rappelling down into ravines. Family and friends are not giving up. Today, they'll be continuing to look for Eller, Organizers say as closer areas get crossed off the list, teams will have to soon start going further away from where her SUV was found. And while volunteers comb through the forest, some searching online are pointing their fingers at Amanda's friends. The Eller family issued a statement regarding Sarah Haynes, who they say is not a suspect. They say because of the online chatter, Haynes offered up her electronic devices and asked to take a lie detector test. That test showed truthfulness in all questions asked, but it raises questions why Haynes would be so passionate about the issue. And that's because, according to social media, her brother, allegedly went missing in 1981 under similar circumstances and the family asked that everyone F is asked that everyone respect their wishes to refrain from accusations and focus solely on gathering evidence or leads to find Amanda. And if you have any tips on this case, you can call Maui police and you can also send in information via email to Eller at mpd.net. And back here on Oahu, a 74-year-old man is dead after he was pulled from waters off of Waikiki Saturday morning. Emergency Medical Services says he was found floating in the water about 10 to 15 yards offshore from the Hilton Hawaiian Village. 
Paramedics treated him at the scene and took him to a hospital. The medical examiner's office says the man identified as Robert Ruiz was visiting here from Tennessee. The Visitor Industry Aloha Society, or VASH, says it's helping his widow. It's connected her with a grief counselor and is assisting with flying Ruiz's body back home. And over on the Big Island, firefighters are investigating what caused a structure and a nearby car to go up in flames. Now, this happened Saturday morning in the Fern Forest area. When crews got there, they found a 20 by 30 foot structure and one pickup truck fully engulfed, mostly burned to the ground. The damage is estimated at $45,000. Nobody was home at the time. And, in, and turning to weather around the nation now, severe storms leaving a trail of destruction in San Angelo, Texas Saturday morning. Many buildings there appear to have suffered roof damage and several trees have also been knocked down. Power lines are also down throughout the city and traffic signals aren't working. The Red Cross has set up an emergency shelter at a local elementary school. Now, San Angelo is located about 200 miles northwest of Austin, Texas. A tornado is confirmed to have touched down in neighboring areas there. And time now, 6.04, bringing it back a little bit closer to home. Here's what it looks like as the sun slowly rises, wherever that sun is, Mika. Yeah, can we find it anywhere? I don't <laughs> see it yet. We got some clouds out there here in town. Similar to what we saw yesterday, we are starting off our day with some scattered showers, mainly here on Oahu. Want to circle back, though, to that 6.7 magnitude earthquake that happened near the Loyalty Islands. Just a reminder, there is no tsunami threat to Hawaii. Again, that happened just before 5 a.m. for today. Bringing it back to Oahu, as you can see, we've got some scattered showers mainly rolling in for our windward and our Malka spots. We are seeing some of those rolling through our town spots as well and over on the east side you are waking up to some light scattered showers. They're moving pretty quickly and we are expecting them again to clear up during most of our day. Windward areas you can expect part, uh, part cloudier conditions excuse me elsewhere partly cloudy. Maui County really not seeing too much rain and for the rest of the state the Big Island and Kauai you're staying relatively dry as well this morning. Overall our wind speed is going to be blowing in nice and strong for today. They're starting off light though, so in the single digits across the board, Kahului really not seeing too much wind right now, but we are expecting those easterly trades to pick up about 10 to 20 miles across the state. And enjoy them while they last for our Sunday because unfortunately our winds are shifting to the southeast as we head into our Monday, and then by Tuesday through the week we are looking at light and variable winds. Pretty muggy conditions out there for our week ahead. 70 degrees right now if you're waking up in Hilo, 78 over on the Garden Isle, and 69 degrees for Kahului right now. Overall, we're expecting another warm day, pretty similar to what we saw yesterday. So our daytime high ranging from about 87 to 90 degrees. Overall, waking up to those scattered trade showers, especially for our windward sections. Partly cloudy skies for our leeward areas for today. Cloudier for the windward side. And our easterly trades blowing in 10 to 20. Again, it's going to be a hot one, so crank up those fans, get that AC blowing. Tom and Leigh, I'll send it back over to you. Right, sounds good. Thanks, Mika. Well, turning now to a final aloha as hundreds bid farewell to a woman influential in perpetuating Hawaiian music. Fans, friends, and family held services for Jacqueline Skylark Rossetti at the Waikiki Shell last night. And you can see it right there. It really was a touching tribute from a daughter to her mother. This is Kilohana Lindsay performing a hula at Rosetti celebration of life. Honolulu Skylark is a two-time Nahoku Hanohana Award winner and worked at KNDI, KCCN, KWXX, and Kappa, KAPA, active in advancing Native Hawaiian issues. And she was actually named Outstanding Hawaiian Woman of the Year. That was back in 1984. Broadcaster of the Year as well in 1990 and honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Hawaii Academy of Recording Arts back in 2011. Her sister remembers Rosetti as a person who always championed causes, even as a little girl. My sister was a very remarkable woman, and we all feel blessed to have had her in our life as our sister. Right from the beginning, she was unique in breaking barriers. The Honolulu Skylark died at the age of 65 back in March. To the service is at the Afukchinin Civic Auditorium in Hilo today. Public visitation begins at noon and the celebration starts at 1.30. Well, we now know the identity of the high school student who reportedly brought a gun into a classroom in Portland, Oregon. 18-year-old Angel Granados Diaz is accused of walking into a classroom with a shotgun at Park Rose High School on Friday. 
Now, hailed as a hero is uh, football coach Keenan Lowe. He was able to tackle Granados to the ground before any shots were even fired, so luckily no one was hurt. Now, Granados is facing a number of firearm charges, and Coach Lowe tweeted about the incident saying he is extremely happy that the students are safe and that he, quote, wants to be part of the solution to gun violence. What a real hero there, yeah, for sure. Yeah, quick thinking, of course. Ab absolutely. And thousands of people hit the pavement yesterday for the hotel industry's largest fundraiser of the year. Now, the Visitor Industry Charity Walk happens all the, every year. 7,000 walkers and volunteers participated in the six-mile walk around Waikiki. So it's put on by the Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association, which held walks on other islands earlier in the month. The combined events raised $2.5 million statewide to benefit those local charities. So our goal is $2.5 million that we want to raise this year. Uh, I think that it's going to happen because of the generosity of our hotels, our businesses, and the nonprofit groups that participate. Every dollar that they raise, we give back to them. And if they cook cool with walkers, volunteers, we give them a little bit extra. And this was HLTA's 40, 41st year holding that charity walk. And then, of course, we go to this. Take a look at these little ones here. They are some of the youngest graduates this season. 66 kids graduated from Queen Emma Preschool before a large crowd of family and friends Saturday afternoon in the St. Andrews School Gym. And before they went on stage to get their diplomas, the Kiki entertained the audience, as you see right there on your screen, by energetically dancing. And Queen Emma Preschool is one of the three St. Andrews schools. So cute, and they grow That's up so, so cute, I know, right? And they grow up so fast. <laughs> you know, already kindergarten. For them. Oh my goodness! And no matter where you're moving on from, if it's preschool to kindergarten, wherever, we want to see your graduation pictures. So you can send it in. This is Ryan Sang, who just graduated with a bachelor's degree in political science, and his dad Chuck, who just got his master's wow. degree in learning design and technology. Awesome for both of them. Congratulations from the University of Hawaii at Manoa. But be sure to send in your pics and your grad pics to pics. KITV.com. We want to show them right here. Yeah, double congratulations right? to both of them. Wow. And get ready. Today is your last day to vote for the next American Idol. Alejandro Aranda, Madison Vandenberg, and Lane Hardy are the final three contestants in the competition. And Hawaii fans will be able to vote for the winner. KITV4 will be airing the American Idol finale live today from 2 to 5, so you can have a chance to vote. And then we will also replay it again at 7. That's going to be really awesome. I do love Alejandro's voice, though. I don't know. There's just something about it. Yeah. But I do know they all can belt out and they can all sing. We'll see. Get those votes in <laughs> right. now, for sure. <laughs> well, coming up, taking action to clean up our streets, how one group is working to spruce up Chinatown. Plus, bringing families back together, how one group is helping Hawaii's homeless population get reunited with loved ones. Those stories and more coming up. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. Time now, 610. See you after the break. Medical-related emergencies are on the rise. More seniors are seeking an independent lifestyle and better quality of life. One in three people over the age of 64 will fall this year. Nearly half will not be able to get up without support. Medical expenses can escalate when a person is not given timely emergency support. You can prevent a medical catastrophe our solution is highly recommended by doctors, healthcare professionals, and hospitals. As your local medical alert system provider, we are offering a free equipment package to seniors or their loved ones who call now. The system is easy to use. It is portable and can travel with you. It detects falls automatically. Order now and receive a free waterproof necklace pendant or wristband with a medical emergency button. Plus, get free shipping. Monitoring starts at less than a dollar a day. Give yourself or a loved one peace of mind. The next 20 orders will receive the medical alert equipment package free of charge. Plus, receive a waterproof necklace pendant or wristband with a medical emergency button free of charge. There's no contract required. Call now, toll free, 1-800-614-0736 and mention the offer code CHANNEL4 to get free shipping.
That's toll free 1-800-614-0736. Offer code channel four. We have medical alert professionals standing by to take your call. Again, that's 1-800-614-0736. Offer code channel four. Welcome back. Well, you know what that sound is. Time for some morning shakas, right? Well, we're going to start with bringing families back together, a nonprofit hoping its miracle messages will help reconnect homeless people with their loved ones. So this is a service that began and was based in San Francisco, but volunteers come from across the nation, including right here in Hawaii. So this is how it works. The homeless person records a message, then volunteers research online to try and locate their family. I feel like I never learned the word stranger. I see everyone as part of my extended family. And it just doesn't make sense that we're walking by people who are someone, somebody, and we don't even say hello. These are just human beings and everyone needs to be loved. And I think we are hoping to inspire others to see these people as just um, people that have just been down on their luck and just need a little help. And these are the numbers so far. More than 200 people have been reunited with their loved ones. There are a few ways to submit a tip. You can find out how at KITV.com right there on our website or even our free mobile app. Always amazing the power of social media to po post a video and bam. The, and the it's family's right there. They already know. Well, it's turning now to Chinatown where American Savings Bank volunteers have spent their weekend sprucing it up out there. That, that includes College Walk, Sun Yat-sen Mall, and Aala Park. They painted, landscaped, and pick up, picked up trash. Now this isn't a one-time deal. Volunteers with the bank do this on a regular basis. That's awesome. Giving a little TLC to Chinatown. Well, it's a party with a purpose. Beat brought together Honolulu leaders for a Moulin Rouge themed party that raised funds to support the American Heart Association. Money raised will be used to improve the lives of all Hawaii residents by providing public health education in a variety of ways. I like that yeah, theme. Absolutely. <laughs> That's a really cool Moulin Rouge theme. Yeah. Well, still to come after the break severe weather season is well underway on the mainland yet another tornado touching down this weekend this time in Oklahoma and local UFC fighters and a local jiu-jitsu Academy teaming up to give back to the Hawaii Food Bank stay with us sports is coming up next stay with us wet and wild Hawaii get your special season pass rates at wet and wild Hawaii.com today Splash into summer with the entire Ohana at Wet n Wild Hawaii. And with a season pass, get unlimited fun and unlimited value for just $54.99. Plus, a free ticket for a friend and a free sports bottle with discount refills. Or go big with the new Big Kahuna Pass with over $600 in benefits, just $10 bucks more. Buy your pass online now for just $54.99. Hurry to get all this value you must buy and visit by May 26th. Wet n Wild, a million gallons of water park fun. In the Maxfield Ohana and here at Window World, we're into comfort because comfortable homes make comfortable families. If your home was built in my grandparents era through the past 10 years, there's been huge improvements in energy efficiency. Replace your old windows today for only $25 per window per month. That's installed. Visit windowworldohana.com or call this number today for a free in-home consultation. Your family and your wallet will thank you. From beloved family, neighbors, and friends, to celebrated musicians, honored veterans, and first responders. From the beautiful Ko'olau Mountains to Kaneohe Bay. This is a place where memories, like the views, go on forever. Hawaiian Memorial Park, cemetery and funeral services. If you ride, you get it. Geico Motorcycle. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more.
Welcome back and good morning Hawaii. Happy Sunday. We're turning to weather around the nation. The National Weather Service confirms an F2 tornado touchdown on Saturday morning near Geronimo, Oklahoma. Take a look there, causing damage in the area. You can see in this video debris scattered everywhere. No word yet on if there are any injuries. And we're gonna take it back here to our island weather where we do have an island photo. This was sent in from Donna Carey showing the moon over Hilo before the sunrise came out this morning. Let's check out what our sunrise is looking like right now this is over Honolulu where we've got some pretty beautiful colors out there some clouds so uh, blanketing our skies as we're waking up this morning 75 degrees we've got some scattered showers out there as well our wind speeds coming in right now light from the north northeast at just five miles per hour we are uh, looking at this high pressure with the big weather picture we've got this high pressure that's what we've been fueling our trades over the next uh, over the past couple of days excuse me but right now we've got this cold front that's approaching that's going to push that high pressure off uh, to our east and as it does so our trade Trades, unfortunately, are going to start to sift out to the southeast, and then they're going to become light and variable as we head into Tuesday through most of our week. So our trade winds feeling nice for today, but as we hit tomorrow, they're going to start to drop off. So light winds uh, really out throughout the rest of our week. We've got some clouds bl blanketing the state. What we are expecting for today is partly cloudy conditions over our leeward areas, windward spots going to see more clouds, and we are looking at some scattered showers coming in as well. This morning, though, is relatively dry with the exception of here on Oahu, Windward, and the east side, seeing some of those scattered showers passing through. Here's what you can expect for your Sunday, 87 degrees for Kapa'a. Today is going to be a very warm day, uh, so fortunately our trade is going to help bring some relief with that. Out in Kapolei, things heating up to 88 degrees, 84 for Waimanalo. So again, just typical trade wind patterns. We've got scattered showers for our windward areas, a few isolated showers possible for our leeward areas. But if you like yesterday's weather, today will be pretty similar. 88 for Kailua Kona, Hilo heating up to 86 degrees degrees. Darren Miyashira shows us a nice day for some tandem surfing out in Waikiki. For today, 2 to 4 for north and west facing shores, south 2 to 4 and 1 to 3 for our east facing shores. We do have a small craft advisory for the waters around the Big Island and for Maui County. Overall for today, 88 degrees. Again, just a few scattered trade showers and for the rest of the week, get ready for some huggy, muggy and some humid conditions. Our winds light and variable until Thursday. That's a look at your island weather. Time now for sports with Cody Crow. The UH baseball season can best be described by the three eyes and experience inconsistency and injury. I'm Cody Krupp, welcome to sports. And all three of those coming to light under the lights against the top team in the Big West. That's a hot grounder gets through into left field and they are going to wave the runner Martinez home. Chalk up another run here for the Gauchos. So not a good start for the Rainbow Warriors in just an inning and a third. Aaron Davenport gave up eight hits and five runs to UC Santa Barbara. UH head coach Mike Trapasso saw enough. And we've seen this a lot this year. Starters not getting it done and out they go. And things not getting much better. It was already 7-0 in the fourth. Make it 8-0. But he Pontes take for three runs over two and two-thirds. But how about a bright spot in this game that got away? The senior Ethan Lopez deep to center. It's got a chance. Get up, get out, and Get out of here. So the first of the ball game coming with a Lopez home run. The whole family there for his final home games, including his father. That is his pops, Fernando. Next oh, to Ethan cool. Lopez's mom and Fernando, who was diagnosed recently with lymphatic cancer, taught him everything he knows about the game of baseball. Lopez gives this one a ride to straightaway center. It's gone. So what an awesome moment for Lopez and his father here on Senior Weekend. And I talked to him on Wednesday practice, said, Pops is doing very well. That is great news. UH does lose 11-1, but the biggest home crowd of the season, 4,296. Final home game of 2019 today at 105. Not just putting in the time, but making the most of the time at the Hawaii Food Bank. Technics Jiu-Jitsu looked like a well-oiled machine. Look at them pack those boxes. I heard it was a record time they got it done. And well, UFC featherweight world champ Max Holloway was there helping out, along with fellow UFC fighter Yancey Medeiros, both born and bred on the west side. But Technics Jiu-Jitsu not just giving their time. They were also able to raise $7,000 to help the food bank. Mahalo for that. That's what it's all about. 
And at the PGA Championships, it's all about Brooks Kepka. It would almost take a miracle at this point for anyone to make a comeback. The first two rounds shot a major championship record score. Saturday, not record shattering, but still a seven shot lead coming into today. And for those like former Turtle Bay pro Tony Finau, the title's out of sight. So why not just go out there, let it rip, and maybe bust a dance move? Chance at Eagle at 13. Par five over 600 yards. He's got it. Well done. <laughs> Do a little dance, make a little eagle, and get down tonight. How about a little shimmy shake for Finau as his score was going down while he was getting down. That nice eagle on 13 bumped him up. 31 spots on the PGA Championship leaderboard coming into today. A one on the round tour for the tournament. He's tied for 26, but like I said, it's Brooks Kepka's world. We're just living in it. 12 under, a seven shot advantage coming into this day. And that's Dustin Johnson in second, along with a couple others tied for second. Shot an even round on Saturday in a very tough course in New York as he goes for back-to-back PJ -back championships. Got an opportunity here, swing into a medium-sized set. Five seconds remaining. This is his last shot at it. Hawaii's John John Florence knocked out in Saturday's round of 32 from the Corona Bowie Protected. What a fantastic key with Jawan Daru pulling off a big time upset. 12.14 to 12.04. Florence coming up just a bit short at the end. And coming off a victory at the Rip Curls Pro Bowls Beach as this is just his third event back after missing last season with injury. And deja vu for the Portland Trail Blazers. Game two of the West conference finals they led by 15 points Steph Curry then dropped 37 to lead the Warriors in a comeback victory so today they led by as many as 18 in game three it was 13 point lead at the half but 36 from Curry a triple double from Draymond Green another heartbreaker for Portland this one though on their home court 110 to 99 Golden State comes back late and they're gonna have a 3-0 advantage in this series and that is it for sports here on KHV4 Island Sports Island News is brought to you by Pacific Honda. Pacific Honda is your state-of-the-art dealership right on the edge of downtown. With a fully covered air-conditioned showroom, Pacific Honda offers the best prices, best service, and the best selection in new Hondas right now. Stop by and celebrate our 50th anniversary with us with a great deal on a new Honda. Take advantage of our low leasing and financing deals. Plus, come down for a test drive and a chance to win a trip for two to Las Vegas, courtesy of Vacations Hawaii. Pacific Honda, home of the happy Honda lovers. Most of us know that renewable energy is the smart and responsible choice for our future. High Power Solar believes that energy should stay with you, especially during a power outage. High Power Solar offers an uninterrupted energy source that will support all your household loads. In fact, it will last for days on a single charge. So don't worry and don't get left in the dark. Live your life uninterrupted. Call High Power Solar today. Powering your life with or without the grid. We work hard to put a smile on your face. As a member of Aloha Pacific Federal Credit Union, you get surprisingly low rates on loans. So you can buy that car or house, pay for major expenses, or consolidate debt. We treat your money like we treat you, with Aloha. And you get expert advice for a better financial future. When you have Aloha, anything is possible. Visit a branch or alohapacific.com. This is not just a headache. This is not just a fever. This is not just the flu. It's meningitis B, and you're not there to help. While meningitis B is uncommon, once symptoms appear, they can progress quickly and can be fatal, sometimes within 24 hours. Before you send your teen to college, make sure you help protect them. Talk to your teen's doctor about meningitis B vaccination. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back. Time now, 626. This is a question you can already start asking. What would you do in your retirement? Yeah, I think we still have a little bit of ways to go, <laughs> Leigh. We're going to be working Always for a thinking. while. Yeah, but got to think ahead. Well, a cop a man who retired not once, but twice from the military has now started up a third career, this time focused on community service. KTV4's Diana Ko show, shows us how Frank Diaz is aging well. Best one on the, the island. On the island. On Ford Island. There it is. <laughs> 
It's another busy lunch hour for Tin Hut Barbecue. Now can't take two with pulled pork and brisket. But 59-year-old Frank Diaz sees it as a chance for him to make a difference, one plate lunch at a time. I love to serve the military. You know, I have such a heart for them. You know, there's such a sacrifice with them deploying overseas. He's working at a Navy base today, but this retired disabled vet does more than that for his military peers. He hires them and has a soft spot for homeless or disabled veterans who can't find work, like Desiree Cortez, who struggled for six months after her medical discharge. There was definitely a huge depression uh, that hit me. and. Um, when I got the job, that's kind of the, the start, you know, of, the, of that light. I started to see it, you know, because um, he believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. Now, she's learning more than just how to run a food operation. She says she's learning how to be a better person. He leaves um, a model behind for someone like myself to follow in behind, you know, and um, I mean, if I could be even half of what he, he is, I think I'll be okay with that. Diaz changes lives on the other side of the counter, too. You'll see these food trucks out and about around Oahu. About four times a year, they'll appear at community events, donating tens of thousands of dollars of services to charitable events. We donate foods for the homeless veterans here on the island. Diaz says he knows how much it means to get a hot meal or a hand up. Being away from home uh, and even being homeless one time myself for 30 days, I was. And I could just, I know where they're at. I've sat in the seat that they sat. When we get that positive uh, response to what we're doing, it just makes us swell up and feel very happy and very content that we were able to make a difference. Thanks for coming by today. Appreciate you. As they say in the military, Diaz has your six. At Fort Island, Diana Co., KITV4 Island News. Sometimes in your retirement, you just want to work and give back. I know, right? It's so, so great to see him helping out uh, disabled vets as well. You Absolutely. know, they really need, read the, need the work. And uh, taking a live look outside on this um, Sunday morning, we'll be right back after the break. Stay with us. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Bank of Hawaii. Now there's a technology that's lighting the way to a new mortgage for people all across Hawaii. Introducing Simplify Mortgage by Bank of Hawaii, Hawaii's leading lender. Simplify Mortgage by Bank of Hawaii lets you apply for a home loan anytime from any device, making the mortgage and refi process faster and easier. Or work hand in hand with the loan experts from Hawaii's number one mortgage team. So put the power of choice and control in your hands. Simplify Mortgage by Bank of Hawaii. Welcome to tomorrow. Technology should be simple. Simple to connect with. Easy to talk to. Hey, BMW, where can I park? And a joy to drive. Don't be driven by technology. Drive it. The all-new BMW 3 Series. Hurry in to lease a 2019 BMW 330i sedan for $3.99 per month. Federal Credit Union. Through all of life's milestones, we're here for you for life. Spectrum Internet delivers. Based on the latest FCC broadband report measuring broadband America, Spectrum is the top performing internet provider, delivering more speed more consistently. Spectrum Internet provides the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance, combined with no data caps and no speed throttling. Plus, free security suite and a free modem. Spectrum Internet is the best choice for connecting you to what matters most. Spectrum. Use the Spectrum TV app and watch live TV anywhere around Hawaii, even on demand titles. Spectrum. Now, from KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Good morning, Hawaii. Happy Sunday. Right now, in an effort to keep pedestrian accident numbers down, the city of Honolulu is coating some busy streets with an extra layer of protection. 
Plus, Akebono Taro swiftly rose up the ranks to become the first non-Japanese Yokozuna or Grand Champ. And now the statue built in his honor, the honor of the Waimanalo wrestler, has a new home. And we'll tell you how a local store is helping some college students in their culinary quest to become to, uh, to compete in a national cook-off. Welcome back. We're going to kick off this half hour with one of the nation's biggest debates, though. Now we're going to take you to Alabama. It's getting ready and getting reactions from people around the nation about its strict abortion law that was recently passed. Joe St. George reports how the southern state's law is affecting others. If you've been on any of these social media sites lately, you have likely seen a post about this. Alabama's new abortion law, the most restrictive in the U.S., making it a felony to perform an abortion unless a woman is likely to die during pregnancy or childbirth. Rape is not even covered. Colorado's capital may be 1,300 miles away from Montgomery, but the law making waves here. So I wanted to kind of use whatever platform I have to let people know that they're not alone. Did Denver resident Lisa Catherine is one of the many Coloradans feeling the need to speak up, posting on Facebook. I was raped. I was impregnated. I had an abortion. I am appalled with Alabama. Lisa telling us she's part of a growing movement of women sharing their abortion experience. I don't really follow politics. It's not something that I'm into, but this has just enraged me. Alabama's new law isn't just impacting Colorado's social media feeds. We've seen a huge surge in volunteers. We've gotten calls. We've gotten emails. Laura Shapin is an advocate for NARAL, an abortion rights group. She says phones have been ringing off the hook at places like hers and Denver's Planned Parenthood. There are women with appointments in Alabama now who need help uh, getting access to care. But if you go to the campus of Colorado Christian University, you realize there are plenty of people on the other side of this energized by Alabama. It's a great day for the babies of Alabama. Jeff Hunt is the director of the Centennial Institute and says for conservatives, this is all about getting a case back to the Supreme Court and perhaps convincing justices to overturn Roe v. Wade. There's no right to an abortion in the Constitution. And that was Joe St. George reporting into news we brought you yesterday. Missouri is the latest state to pass a heartbeat bill. The state's House passed the Unborn Act on Friday, preventing abortion after eight weeks of pregnancy. Missouri's measure allows expectations for medical emergencies, but not for pregnancies out of rape or incest. Missouri's Senate approved the bill on Thursday. It now heads to the governor's desk, who is expected to sign it into law in about a week. And new this morning, President Trump also weighing in on the abortion debate. In a tweet, Trump says he is strongly pro-life with only three exceptions, rape, incest, and to protect the life of the mother. Now, he went on to tout some of his nominations of pro-life judges, including on the Supreme Court, and said he would campaign on that record in 2020. And also new this morning, Michigan Congressman Justin Amish has become the first sitting Republican to call for President Trump's impeachment. In a Twitter post, Amish says he believes the Mueller report showed that Trump engaged in impeachable conduct, and he said it's Congress's job to uphold the Constitution. Now, a number of Democrats have already called for Trump's impeachment, but many Republicans have still defended Trump's views on the Mueller report and defended Trump's conduct. Now to a terrifying situation in Texas. A suspect is in custody after an eight-year-old girl was kidnapped while walking with her mother. Police said a regional Amber Alert was issued Saturday night after the girl was abducted from her mother's care. In an attempt to save her, the mother was shoved from the car that sped off with her daughter inside. Surveillance videos show that the mother was getting thrown out of the car and crying for help on the street. After hours of searching, two church members were able to locate the suspect car at a hotel. So far, the girl is reported in good condition. And turning now to news around the nation, police in Waterbury, Connecticut, arrested dozens of people in an undercover operation that began on Friday. Operation Raw Deal is in response to the number of heroin overdoses in the city. Police have arrested 41 suspects, and they're still after 11 more. Police say this is not just about making arrests, but it's about saving lives. In the operation, police seized eight ounces of raw heroin, thousands of bags of packaged heroin, two cars, $15,000 in cash, and two handguns with bullets and a rifle. 
And to news around the world this morning, five people, including a pilot, died in a private plane crash on Saturday in Honduras. The plane crashed into the sea shortly after taking off from the Roatan Island, a tourist destination on the Atlantic coast of Honduras, according to local authorities. An armed forces spokesman said that four of the victims were from the United States and the fifth victim's nationality is yet to be determined. Local authorities have not said what caused that crash. And also around the world, Sunday is the final day of voting in India. 900 million voters were able to cast their ballots in the world's biggest election. It's been a tight race between India's prime minister and his main opponent. Today caps off six weeks of voting there. And we'll move over to Italy right now. The country's deputy prime minister, Matteo Salvini, held a rally in Milan on Saturday with other leaders from France and Holland in attendance. At the rally, he claimed that his anti-immigration policy is saving lives. Salvini said that his bid to stop migrant and NGO boats arriving on Italy's shores is helping. And for as long as he's in charge, a ship won't enter. The deputy prime minister rallied the crowds to vote in the European elections that are coming up. And in South Africa, Arnold Schwarzenegger got kicked in the back while attending the Four Arnold Classic Africa. That's a multi-sport event that's held in Johannesburg each May. A video shows the former California governor on the sidelines recording a rope skipping competition on his phone. As Schwarzenegger turned back around to hand the phone over to someone, a man ran from behind and jump kicked him in the back. Security quickly stepped in, grabbing the man and taking him away. Schwarzenegger seemed unfazed, uh, tweeting and thanking fans for their concerns. Now to the Democratic presidential hopefuls hitting the campaign trail. Former Vice President Joe Biden holding his first major campaign rally in a key battleground state. ABC's Stephanie Ramos has the very latest. Yeah. Former Vice President Joe Biden holding his first official presidential campaign rally in the city of brotherly love. The event in Philadelphia rich in symbolism. The reason we're here is because in a literal sense this was the birthplace of our democracy. In the expanding Democratic field, the front runner addressing the country's political divide and blaming President Trump. This politics is pulling us apart. It's ripping this country apart at the seams, and our president is the divider in chief. Biden promising to unite the country as president, one of the core principles of his campaign. I'm running to offer our country Democrats, Republicans, and Independents a different path. At the rally, I asked him about one of President Trump's main issues illegal immigration. Do you think oh, there is up. a crisis at the border? No, I think the crisis at the border is where they're treating people who are seeking asylum. There should be a process for them. This sentiment echoed on the campaign trail with Senator Bernie Sanders at a rally in Georgia. We must never, never yank babies out of the arms of their mothers at the border and Mayor Pete Buttigieg in Iowa. What kind of country locks people up when they are fleeing what we're fighting? And that 2020 Democratic field is crowded. You can see it right there. 23 presidential hopefuls are all fighting to earn the party's nomination. That includes Hawaii Representative Tulsi Gabbard. The latest to join New York City is Mayor Bill de Blasio. 23. It's going, to wow. be, it's going to be an interesting year <laughs> next year. It's going to be a fight. All right, we'll take a look at this. A dramatic sight in New York City's Times Square. An electronic billboard caught on fire Saturday. Firefighters say the fire did not spread to the building this billboard is connected to. Now, the, it's, the, uh, it's the three times square building, which is also known as the Thompson Reuters building. There were no reports of any injuries. No word yet on what caused that fire. And turning now to your local weather, here's a live look right now at Honolulu. Mika's got the, the latest right now. Looks looks pretty nice with that sunrise. You yeah, know. you know what, Tom? It looks pretty, but we do have some clouds blanketing the state. But we're going to take it back. We've been talking about how you can send in your graduation photos, and we'll feature them. We've got a shout-out to Dana Rambo. She's getting that shout-out from her mom, Wendy, really. She just graduated from the UH Manoa, so congratulations to her majoring in fashion design and merchandising. 
She's the first in the family to graduate. And again, you can send your picks in to picks at KITV.com and we'll give you a big shout out there. Shout out to all of our graduates. Right now on the windward side, we do have cloudier conditions. Those temperatures 75 degrees. Our north northeast winds coming in light right now, but we are expecting another day of breezy trades for today. Out on the windward side, you could see some spots on our camera. We've got some scattered showers out there for our windward and our Malka areas. And for the western half of the state, we could actually see some wetter conditions for today, mainly favoring our windward areas. We've got a disturbance to our north, so that's going to be bringing the chance for some spotty showers here on Oahu, like what we're seeing, and for Kauai. Our temperature is getting warm for today, 86 degrees, and our wind's coming in from the east, about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So this breezy trade's going to feel nice for today, uh, but unfortunately tomorrow they're going to shift out to the southeast, and then by Tuesday they're turning light and variable. So we are looking at a pretty warm and muggy week ahead of us. We've got partly cloudy skies, lots of sunshine though for leeward areas for today, and for for Hilo, you are looking at partly cloudy conditions as well. Things are looking good. Your daytime high getting up to about 82 degrees. Overall for today, another warm day, 88 degrees. Again, some trade showers this morning and into the afternoon. Overall, partly cloudy skies, windward areas, expecting to see a little more in terms of showers. And as you take a look at the next eight days, like I mentioned, our winds starting to shift out by Monday and then they're turning light and variable, really not starting to return back to us until about Friday into Saturday. That's a look at your island weather. Tom and Leal send it back over to you. All right, thanks Mika. Well, a startling statistic shows too many pedestrians are dying on Honolulu streets with nine pedestrian related deaths so far this year. The city is looking for more ways to get drivers and walkers to pay attention. With each layer of paint, a layer of protection on Honolulu streets. So we're applying a few coats to this and hopefully it'll dry. These new bold colored stencils, a reminder that's hard to ignore. You have to look both ways nowadays. Um, you're never too sure where there might be someone coming towards you. Yeah. It's something Susan Mukai sees every day. I actually walk to work, so this is actually a big deal for me because I see a lot of other people um, not looking up. They're always on their phones texting. So today she's part of the team grabbing their stencils and their spray paint, putting up these signs around Thomas Square all part of the city's effort to make sure people look all ways. This is for our pedestrians to say anytime you step off a sidewalk, make absolutely certain around you that, that the way is clear. Some of the worst areas in town are one-way streets like King Street because a lot of pedestrians just look at the direction where the traffic is coming from. The problem is there's bike lanes that go both directions. That's why they're hoping that these signs will have you look all directions. Like a lot of other major cities, Honolulu has dealt with a lot of accidents involving pedestrians. So not too long ago, we had a 17-year-old that can't participate in graduation ceremonies this weekend because she was struck in a crosswalk. And while a lot of the focus is put on drivers to pay attention, they hope these signs will be a reminder pedestrians should be on the lookout too. We want to make sure that everybody does their part. Yeah, and that was right around the corner from the station, so certainly impacts all of us. And according to a study from the Governor's Highway Safety Association, 2018 actually saw the highest number of pedestrian deaths since 1990. And in fact, Hawaii saw a bigger increase last year than in any other state. Well, the kitchen is heating up, and a Honolulu store is working to help local students get to a nationwide contest for cook-off. That's Island Olive Oil. They hosted a fundraiser yesterday to support Kapi'olani Community College's culinary program. The students are raising money to attend the American Culinary Foundation Federation's National Championship. That's in Orlando, Florida, on August 7th. Students cooked special dishes, top chef style, and the public could sample and vote for their favorite food and if people bought bottles of olive oil the store actually donated that money toward the KCC students all right well happening today the Blaisdell exhibition hall will be full of keiki for this year's Honolulu new baby expo it's Hawaii's largest prenatal through preschool expo and it features more than 150 local and national vendors so everybody from pregnant ladies to parents of preschoolers the fair covers it all the event kicks off at 10 this morning and it runs until 5. Now, general admission will cost you $5.50 and cakey five years old and under are free. 
And check this out. The bronze statue of renowned sumo wrestler Akebono has a new home. It's at Honolulu. It's at the Oahu Hale Marketplace. Akebono, also known as Chad Rowan, was the first Hawaii Grand Champion. Yokozuna winning 11 championships before retiring back in 2001. So during his sumo days, he stood at six foot eight and weighed more than 500 pounds. The bronze statue weighs even more and towers over the entrance to the shopping area after being moved from its old location out in Waimanalo, his hometown. Also, plenty of early birds gathered at Magic Island yesterday for the first ever Hawaii 1K slip -a walk The event was organized by the Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association to raise money for local charities and break the Guinness World Record for the most walkers wearing slippers. KITV4's Robert Kikala, you saw him right there, was also there to help kick off the event. So the world record for a slipper walk is 1,587 participants. Unfortunately, no help from Mother Nature, but it's wrong that the slipper walk record doesn't belong to the state of Hawaii. What? That right there, that is the sound of bewilderment and a little bit of disappointment. Yeah, we want to recount. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the proceeds also go to the Wounded Warrior Ohana, which supports wounded and injured veterans and their families next year. Yeah, we'll get it. <laughs> if, they, if anyone deserves the record for slippers, it's Hawaii, right? And it's, been, it's been a year already since Harry and Meghan tied the knot at Windsor Castle in England. The royal wedding took place in St. George's Chapel last May. Hard to believe it's already been a year. Well, a year later now, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, already a family of Three, of course, earlier this month, they announced the birth of their son, Archie. I feel like that's going to become a popular name now. I think now. so. Absolutely. You're going to see it for 2019 and yeah. probably for 2020. All right. Well, still to come, who do you think has the pipes to knock out the other American Idol competition? Will mm. you still have a chance to weigh in and vote? Because tonight's finale is right here on KITV. So go ahead and vote. It's coming up. Plus, after more than a decade of its TV reign, who will take the Iron Throne in the war-torn kingdom of Westeros? It's the moments fans have been waiting for and dreading at the same time. The series closer of the hit show Game of Thrones happening tonight. Don't go away. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. KITV4 Island News is sponsored by Xanthacin for your inflammatory health and longevity. Did you know compelling new research published in top medical journals links inflammation to heart health, brain health, and even lifespan? That's right. So why don't we manage inflammatory health with these well-known anti-inflammatories? The truth is there are no anti-inflammatories safe enough for chronic use until now. Introducing Xanthacin. The safe anti-inflammatory for health and longevity. Visit GNC, your neighborhood inflammatory health center, to learn more. It's Mattress Firm's Memorial Day sale. For a limited time, get a free adjustable base with our lowest minimum purchase ever. That's up to a $699 value, free. Our customers are raving about this deal. Hurry in, your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. Ready for summer? Nissan is. You can't miss out during the Summer of SUV sales event. All you need is a great camera, the right tunes, and a change of scenery. Save on it all at Nissan's Summer of SUV sales event. For a limited time, save up to $4,000 on the 2019 Nissan Frontier. Living with diabetes can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Discover an innovative way to better manage your diabetes with Ekahi Wellness. We focus on lifestyle improvements in your nutrition, emotional well-being, exercise, and your medical management, all under one roof. Our team of passionate professionals partner with you and your doctor so you can live with more energy, increase time for work and family, and take control of your diabetes. Your first consultation is at no cost to you, so call us today. It's Mattress Firm's Memorial Day Sale. Get a king for the price of a queen and a queen for the price of a twin. See why customers are raving about the value of our deals, like savings up to $700. Hurry in. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back. Time now, 6.51. Early this morning, Honolulu firefighters responding to a three-story building fire. 
This happened around 3.30 on Paoa Road, right off the Poly Highway. HFD says crews found a car on fire inside a garage. The fire was put out about 30 minutes later. No reports of any injuries right now, and that fire is under investigation. Well, turning now to weather this morning, Mika, it's supposed to be a nice weekend, but maybe not so nice as the week goes on, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know what? We've got our trade winds sticking around for one more day, so that's the good news, but we are expecting our winds to shift off light and variable, unfortunately, for our upcoming work week. We're going to start out with this beautiful island photo, though, that was sent in this morning from Susan Ray, showing our sunrise over the beach. Lucky we live Hawaii. We are expecting another warm day for today right now. Temperatures getting up into the mid 70s already. 75 here in town. Out in Kapolei, if you're waking up, your temperature 74 degrees. And out in Kaneohe, 76. Our winds are in single to double digits, mainly light across the state as we're waking up this morning. But over on the garden now, you've got the double digits, 14 mile per hour winds. Overall, for today, like I mentioned, our trade winds will be nice and breezy thanks to this high pressure that's firmly planted uh, to our north. But as we head into our overnight and into tomorrow, we are expecting this front to push that out of the way. So so what that's going to do is shift our winds more southeasterly for our Monday. They're going to be lighter, and then we are expecting our winds to turn light and variable Tuesday through our Friday. Let's take a live look outside here in town. Things are looking good, shaping up to see some blue skies, a little more clouds favoring our windward spots, and that's where we're seeing some of our scattered showers rolling in as well. And that's going to be the trend for today. Windward Malka areas, especially for Kauai and for Oahu, you can expect to see some of those spotty showers throughout the day, while leeward sections going to see partly cloudy conditions. Our temperatures getting up into the upper 80s. Poipu heating up to 87 for today. Here on Oahu, Makaha, your temperature is 87. And on the east side, Waimanalo, your temperature is getting up to 84 degrees. Lanai City, 82. Partly cloudy skies. Again, a few trade showers. Going to be a little bit windier for Maui. And for the Big Island, partly cloudy conditions. Your uh, temperatures for Kailua Kona getting up to 88 degrees. A checkup on our surf. It's quiet across the board. 2 to 4 for northwest and south-facing shores. Out on the east side, 1 to 3. We do have a small craft advisory in place for the Big Island and Maui waters. And then we are expecting some larger surf for south facing shores as we head into next weekend. Just a few scattered showers this morning. Partly cloudy conditions are daytime high, getting up to 88 degrees. And by Monday through our Friday, we are looking at very humid and muggy conditions. So again, enjoy the trades while they last for today. That's a checkup of your island weather. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. We'll be right back after the break. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Poncho's Solar Service, to harness the sun, Poncho's number one. Did you know that HECO's rates are continuing to go up? Did you know that federal tax credit for solar is going down soon? Did you know that Poncho's can build you an outback off-the-grid system with average savings between $100 to $400? Larger systems are available. Did you know that Poncho's can build you a customized battery system for your home that can fit your needs and your budget? Did you know that you can start small and expand? Now you know. Poncho Solar, locally owned and trusted statewide. Ready for summer? Nissan is. You can't miss out during the summer of SUV sales event. All you need is a great camera, the right tunes, and a change of scenery. Save on it all at Nissan Summer of SUV Sales Event. Get 0.9% financing plus 1500 cash rebate for total possible finance savings of 4067 on Rogue. Now through Memorial Day, get everything you want for your home and save $500 at Homeworld Furniture. It's a great time to redo your living room, dining room, bedrooms, and more. Save $500 or choose 12 months of easy financing to get it all. Sofas, sofa beds, recliners, sectionals, tables, chairs, dressers, and more with $500 savings or 12 months financing. Shop the Memorial Day sale at Homeworld Furniture. Don't miss it. What's in a crunchy taco at Jose's Mexican Cafe and Cantina? 100% all beef, fresh lettuce, cheese, and sour cream, all in a softer hard tortilla. Eat happy, Jose's Mexican Cafe and Cantina. This room is always so full of positivity and love. Turn on, Ellen. You will feel better. Ellen at 4 p.m., followed by KITV4 Island News. This is Good Morning Hawaii. All right, welcome back. Well, the Game of Thrones TV reign comes to an end, and it's hard to ignore its impact it's had over the last decade. Paul Verkamen reports on how it's made a lot of money, too. Dracarys. 
The show that reigned over fantasy drama for nearly a decade is finally laying down its sword. The Night King is coming. With the last ever episode of HBO's hit series Game of Thrones, an era of television history closes. Since its debut in 2011, Game of Thrones has shattered records around the globe with dozens of wins. It is HBO's most awarded show and most watched. Drawing viewers from over 200 countries, last season was seen by more than 32 million in the U.S. alone. It's exciting, it's thrilling, it's dangerous, and you never know what's going to happen. It's also become the most licensed program in HBO history. Inspiring countless ads, products, and accessories from companies looking to cash in on the massive global hit. You know, we're not American, we're not European, we're a world that anybody can belong to. Get down! Over its eight seasons, the show became a cultural phenomenon, parodied in late night comedy. I just need to know, uh, do, <laughs> do people hate me? <laughs> Referenced by the U.S. president and his former opponent. Which is closer to reality of life and politics? Which TV show? Probably Game of Thrones. <laughs> and in European politics as well. Today, United Kingdom looks like Game of Thrones.